Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihil kareem. We begin with Allah's blessed name. We praise Him and we glorify Him. And we pray for peace and for blessings on all His noble messengers. And in particular on the last of them, the blessed Prophet Muhammad. Allah's blessing be upon him as we greet you in the month of Rajab with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and with the dua which is masnoon Allahumma barik lana fi Rajabin wa Shaban wa barikna Ramadan and a prayer that O oh Allah kindly grant kindly grant that our people might learn to think kindly open their eyes and open their minds and open their hearts that they might learn to think and to remain faithful to the Quran rather than to be faithful to some brainwashing that has been taking place for so long. And our question is, will Jesus, Nabi Isa alayhi salam, would he have his followers when he returns? Would he have his followers, people who follow him? I don't follow him. I follow Muhammad. Allah's blessing be upon him. But will Jesus have his followers who will follow him when he returns? That is the question. And the answer we want is from the Quran, from the Quran. What does the Quran say? Before you open your mouth to shoot your brainwashed nonsense, what does the Quran say? And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah to Ali Imran, He says, I'm going to raise those who follow you. Oh, Jesus, those who follow you, oh, Jesus, I'm going to raise them to a position of dominance over those who reject you, who commit kufr against you. And when I raise them to that position of dominance in the world, they will remain in that position of dominance until the end of the world. This is Surah to Ali Imran. وَرَفِيُوا الَّذِينَ تَبَوُوكَ فَوْكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْكِيَامَةِ إِلَى يَوْمِ الْكِيَامَةِ And so this verse of the Quran is confirming that they will be followers of Jesus, Nabi Isa a.s. who will follow him until the last day and they will be blessed by Allah and they will be raised by Allah to a position of dominance in the world. When next I go to Moscow, I'm going to tell them in Moscow, what does the Quran say? Because Moscow and Russia is leading the Christian world today, the Orthodox Christian world that you are going to be remaining in a position of dominance until the end of the world. And so the answer is yes. There will be people who are following Jesus. We are followers of Jesus, the Messiah. We are not followers of Muhammad. No, no, we are followers of Jesus. And they remain followers of Jesus until the last day. This is the Quran. So take your brainwash <laughs> other views, take them away, and they cannot stand up before the Quran. And so those who follow Muhammad, Allah's blessing be upon him, will follow the Sharia or the sacred law which came to Muhammad, Allah's blessing. So we will fast this way in Ramadan, and we will pray in the direction of this Qibla. This is Makkah. Although there are those who pray in the direction of Washington. And they will be people who are following Jesus. And they will have their Sharia because they are following him. They are not following Muhammad, Allah's blessing. So they will have their Sharia. And they will have their way of fasting. 
and these will continue like this until the last day, and these will continue like this until the last day, and so there will be two ummas in Akhir Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.